Hi everyone, welcome to Indie Morning. So today we're going to do Airy Sagittarius and Leo in fire signs. So let's see what's gonna happen for the rest of the October. So what are the signs? What are the messages? Let us check. So this is going to be Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Since this is a general reading, take it how it resonates. And for personal readings are more accurate, you can book me on WhatsApp or DM me on Instagram. Also, for some short pick a card readings and current energies, you can follow me on Instagram. Okay. Also, let me know if you want extended readings on my Patreon. So we can begin doing that there also. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, what's coming up? Give me the signs. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, someone is hiding their true feelings for you. Strong, strong, strong Scorpio or a Pisces. Second strong. Someone is not honest with you. Maybe because they are hiding their feelings. Okay. Someone who... Oh, someone is crying over you. Not happy. I feel that this person is acting uh, rude. This person is acting like they don't care. But deep inside, they don't want to reveal that. They care. Okay. So they are grieving inside for not being there in your life. Or not being able to be there in your life. <clears throat> this is freaking them out and... They're having some sleepless nights and maybe crying over this connection and not really talking to you, but uh, deep inside they're hurting. Someone is hurting, okay? They might not show that, but that's how they're feeling. Strong Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, they're addicted to you. They just can't get you out of their head, okay? This could be a toxic person that you're dealing with who doesn't know how to take care of someone's emotions so they're pretty uh rough okay with their behavior they could be uh very toxic very devil-like energy like they always keep you on hold maybe they're not revealing their true self they're always keeping you waiting like you seriously don't know what to do with this person because they are not revealing their true feelings and they always <clears throat> keep you hanging in the middle like they're not making it clear what they want from you they don't want to let go of you they're also not giving in into this connection fully so you're tired because this person is you know uh, forcibly trying themselves on you forcing themselves on you they want to tie themselves with you okay but this connection is turning negative and i feel that this person is going through wrap it up and down of emotions and they're not very stable okay they're pretty confused about their own life as well so they don't know what to do with this connection i feel that this person is single though but uh, they're not ready to commit and at the, at the same time they're not ready to give in their all neither are they leaving you <clears throat> so you're tired yeah. like i feel that uh, they don't give in to you fully okay they want you but uh, something stops them i don't know something about them is fishy or they're not revealing their true feelings they're not exposing their true self and this is confusing the shit out of you aries <clears throat> sagittarius leo whatever this is is a toxic connection not a spiritual or love love connection okay so i also feel that someone was rejected over here or they kind of uh, was not showing you their complete honesty okay so you kind of rejected this person because of this reason or <clears throat> they rejected you someone feels rejected over here especially you i feel but i feel that this person is pretty on and off with their feelings they are very um hefty i would say like they come running towards you and they rush they come rushing towards you and they leave very quick so it's like that so yeah they come with a rapid communication and the communication is very unstable so it's like a never-ending story between you guys leaving you tired and drained or leaving this person also tired and drained because they're pretty moody maybe they're moody maybe they're confused maybe they don't want to commit they're not very mature with handling relationships as well could be a younger energy pisces strong leave 
feel that they are maybe juggling uh, you and something else in their life and you, you're not aware of it. So they're not ready to commit, but they're not leaving you also. So I feel that if this is what is happening with you, you need to leave this connection. You need to make a decision because it's very hard nowadays for you to make a decision regarding this person <clears throat> i feel that they're continuously stalking you and this might affect your growth as a person i feel aries sagittarius leo you want to move on but this person's energy is blocking your movement so you're kind of tired you're you you know that this someone is keeping an eye on you but uh, they still don't want to talk to you so it's like kind of weird you know awkward so this is making you feel awkward because this person is not communicating well and at the same time they're stalking you. So let us check more. Okay. Yeah, they have a crush on you. Some of you met this person online or you guys are reigniting this connection online this time. You guys have met in the past but I feel that this person feels strongly towards you. Very strongly you might be dealing with the Pisces. They want a new stable beginning with you but I feel that there could be a new person who might come towards you who could be a, another Pisces. Okay, there is a high chance a new person is coming towards you and with that person, new person, there is a high chance of justice being served. So finally, the past person is going to get the dose of their own medicine and you'll move on with no communication. Yeah, I feel that they see you as someone who's very attractive. There's a lot of attraction between you guys. Even you feel that attraction, but you're not willing to commit to this person because they are not very honest or straightforward with their behavior. Rather, they kind of end up fighting um, in order to close off or in order to avoid opening up their feelings they kind of act cold or distant with you or they might end up fighting with you every time so it's like toxic so i feel that this person is someone from the past who's not leaving you okay but you want to move on so yeah they've been waiting for you like ages but this connection is going nowhere this person needs to know that i feel that you are heading towards new beginning Yes, there's going to be an engagement for some of you. I feel that there's a new person who's coming towards you who's wait, worth waiting for. With that person, you're going to get a good major communication. I also sense that some of you might actually get physically engaged with someone. So yeah, someone maybe from the past is going to ask for another chance. <clears throat> but I feel that um, it all totally depends upon you what action you need to take. But I strongly sense that there is someone that you need to let go of for a new relationship to begin, a new beginning that's coming, a stable new beginning is heading your way. Maybe some of you might get a gift or get engaged. Yeah, you need to focus on improving health and uh, I feel that the people around you kind of will help you throughout to enhance your personality or bring back your true self. I feel that you need to engage with more and more people who are there with you in good times or bad times. You need to be spending time with those people in order to gather that energy, their positivity into you. Because you really have become negative because of their behavior. So you need to bring back that positivity by being there with your friends and family members that keep you happy. You need to move on. The message is very clear over here. You need to move on from something that's not... Yeah, because the uh, the moment you move on, you're heading towards abundance. A lot of money, a new beginning in, re in relationships and love coming up for you guys. Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. Let us see more to this. I'm enjoying this. Aries, Sagittarius. Very nice reading. One day you'll look back to this day and you'll be like, oh, I was so stupid to fall for such a person. So yeah, you go with the flow. It's okay. Don't try to control. Don't try to be guilty. Don't uh, feel guilty for leaving a person who is toxic. You need to go with the flow. Okay, Do what your heart says. Follow your heart. That's what it's saying. Find balance. Your life needs to be in balance. If you let go of this person, your life will be in balance. And I feel that there's a lot of red over here. You need to focus on your health. Yeah. You need to balance your sacral chakra and with this I feel that it's very clear that you need to, you know, bring back your strength 
your agility and uh, this will bring abundance work on your finances work on your soul attractiveness try to make your soul more attractive by being you and focusing on your health eat more red okay that will really help build a positive aura around you yeah let's see some last set of cards for my aries sagittarius and leo three of wands very clear i feel that the current connection that you're dealing with is ending up into quarrels and lots of fights and disturbing your aura or disturbing the balance in your life so the suggestion for you is that move on there's a new person who's heading your way or new opportunities are coming you need to distance yourself from the person that you're dealing with right now very clearly someone may be dealing with a fire sign another fire sign maybe some of you you might be dealing with a friend who is more than uh, and a friend is an enemy okay so whatever it is that's pulling you down you need to distance yourself from that person so you can find a way to growth success abundance <clears throat> with the sun here positivity so yeah, there's Ace of Pentacles twice. So I feel that uh, there's a new beginning heading your way in terms of money, abundance, as well as relationships. And this is going to be a stable relationship or stable income. So there's going to be growth. Some of you might get a job or promotion of some kind if you're looking for that. But I feel that you're right now taking burden of other people. So you need to release that because it's not meant for you to, um, you know, make other people happy or fix other people you don't have to fix anybody else it's not your job you focus on your own okay so your job is to focus on yourself so try to build your own attractiveness and stop focusing on the people that don't care about you that ways all right so that's the reading for my aries sagittarius leo now i just wanted to pull some uh, career cards and see what's happening there Very Sagittarius Leo, please. Okay, some of you, you need to follow your heart's desire. See, as I told you, you're growing towards uh, material wealth, and I feel that you're going to get abundance if you do something that your heart always wanted to do. Okay, so follow what your heart is trying to tell you when it comes to achieving something in life, a dream, a goal, a passion. Work on it very strong message i got uh, i get some of you love writing or simply it means that if you have a heart desire if you have something in your mind that or your heart that you've always wishing to do i think write that down if you write that down the universe makes it um, you know it gets more um, solid it solidifies more in the universe so that's how the universe will see what you want and you'll get it so yeah that's the reading for you guys I don't know why I just don't feel like stopping it. Angels are protecting you. Some of you are into military or whatever. Um, but I feel that uh, there are people around you who are always there in your protection. So don't worry about it. So yeah, that's the reading for my Aries Sagittarius Leo. Finally, we need to end this up here. So if you guys have uh, enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and hit the bell icon. And also comment in the comment section below so I know how it felt to you guys and also i'm always available for personal readings you can anytime ping me bye bye